Ooh, welcome and welcome back to the channel guys real quick let's go over something real quick y'all see these parts right here well I got here today and you talking about ruin my day guys the parts for the Durango is here well watch this video I'm hoping it's up by the time this one is out but you can find all the diagnostic I did to uh, find out where this thing was leaking it and yes guys I found out where it's leaking it okay now these are the two heater holes that goes to the rear heater unit remember guys the Durango has dual climate uh, dual AC and dual uh, front AC unit and a rear AC unit so you have to have some kind of type of transfer tubes to transfer coolant from the front to rear all right now follow me here guys pay attention listen this this is the new lines now so FCA I guess they got a handle on it now look at the black coating or oh, this this feel like tape but look at this how they put this on here to help <laughs> why didn't they just relocate or turn the hose clamp I don't know but the hose clamp on another hose actually eats into there and chew that up and uh, you will eventually over time get a leak well on the new parts that you receive you will have so I'm gonna go a step further guys I'm gonna put a rubber hose around him this will not happen to me again on this car I know that for sure but look at the drama now we're gonna go over I'm gonna show you uh, I gotta do some reading man I'm, I've never done one and the guy that did the last one uh, I don't know he's not here I don't know where he's there where he is but um, I mean with reading you'll be able to figure out just about anything you need to figure out but before I take a break, I want to show y'all. Uh, now, this is Durango. This Durango is not leaking. It's in for something else. But I just happen to look at this is a 2018 model, guys. Y'all see right here. I want to show y'all something. Okay. This is the hose clamp right here. Y'all see that hose clamp? That is what's shoes. Let me get this rubber hose out the way. I'm going to zoom up and post. I'm going to get that out the way now because I really want y'all to see this is the holes that not this rubber the, the tube right there see it already have the black the black uh, I don't know what that is the tape or what but it already have it on it but what was going on in the older models this hose clamp right here was essentially too close to this tube and over time it just vibrate rub 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 and next thing you know coolant all over the place guys all over the transmission yeah look at the the distance between this hose and this hose clamp now it's greater and it has tape on it just in case something happened and it gets too close and try to rupture into a hose again oh you eventually have coolant all over here guys i've seen guys uh replace a lot of parts off at the adapter house because you know it's coolant travels through there so if they see coolant over here just like oil if you see oil coolant on top of the transmission the only thing higher up that holds both of those is the oil filter adapter housing well that's not your problem guys and after pressure testing i ended up pressure testing it and uh I, no i didn't pressure test because i don't have the adapter but <laughs> i didn't need to <laughs> it's sitting here dripping right here all right guys this is frustrating let me take a break right quick i'll be right back so this is like I say this is a 2018 model the one I'm about to work on is a 2017 so it do not have the updated stuff on it but guys look at what I'm gonna have to do okay remember this two of these lines are dedicated to AC and two dedicated to heater they only got me the heater hose naturally that's all that's leaking so I'm almost betting I'm gonna go read the instruction guys if you up to doing this you have to read how they recommend you do it then you create your own way I'm almost assuming drive shaft and the exhaust and the fuel tank and the damn cradle in the rear will have to be lowered okay remember guys we're trying to get back here this is my AC and heater tubing so rubber pretty much uh, cool it so I'm gonna take these off and I have to go through here oh my goodness look at this above the cradle guys why didn't they make these two and three pieces? This is one whole freaking piece. I'm gonna have to go above the cradle. I don't even see, okay, there it is right there. I'm gonna say I done lost track of them. Where did they go? And uh, up through here, and of course around here, 
and then make a hang a hard left and then hang a go this way on the shield and then finally end up right here and from there to uh, the front heated unit okay now granted this part here shouldn't be difficult like I say drop the exhaust drop the gas tank and I don't know I guess I'm gonna have to lower the crate on I'm gonna go read and see what they recommend first but the transmission will have to be lowered because I have to go above it and guys we talking about one piece that's my problem why didn't they cut me or give me a connection point I might find a way to build a connection point guys I have to go above this transmission so the, like I say the transmission will have to be dropped ain't no way around it oh my goodness guys all because of the distance between this and that hose clamp shoes into it eight into it so now I got a coolant leak this ain't the car but it's the same setup all right but we go I'm hoping I win the lottery tonight that way I would not even have to come to work and they can find somebody else to do it. I am not up to this. Oh my goodness, guys. You guys don't know how <laughs> I'm sitting here whining to you guys. I'm supposed to be inspiring you guys to keep it moving, keep going, keep going. But y'all don't know how frustrating this can be. So I don't know. You know, since whining about it, guys, I'll fire the camera back up when I get the real car in. We start work on it. All right. So that's all I have, man. Um, yeah, no sense looking at this one. Ain't nothing wrong with this one. <laughs> these just the parts. So I got to get these out from under here because I'm about to lower this Durango. But why didn't they make these two or three pieces? Chrysler, come on, man. Let me take a picture of this with my thumbnail. I'm just going, I guess. Yeah, guys, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.